Ah, sports. Where athletes bring us career defining moments. The Miami Heat, they've done it. They win their first championship in franchise history. Tomlinson off the left side. Tomlinson sidestep. Now they have history books. Dynasties being created and destroyed. Pass is intercepted at the goal line by Malcolm Butler. Unreal. And of course, the unthinkable. And me? Well, I'm here to give you the truth. The one aspect that will never lie? The numbers. Yo, Yo. What's going on, man? Back at it again with another video. It's your boy, Numbers Fan J. We got a lot to talk about, man. We got some news to get into. Of course, we always start off with the Monday night recap. So recapping, Minnesota at Seattle was a great game as expected. Um, Dalvin Cook did come away with an injury. Game was still close in the end. Seattle ended up pulling out the win. We got that one right to end a, a bad week for us. We finished that week seven and nine uh, on picks. But Russell Wilson had a pretty good day. 240 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Chris Carson. 102 yards, one touchdown, but not only Chris Carson was running it. Rashad P, 74 yards, one touchdown. The Seahawks collectively ran for 218 yards on this Minnesota defense. Who has some stuff to figure out if they're going to be a, a team that goes deep into the playoffs this postseason. But Seattle won this game, and we got it right. We are now 118, 74, and 1 in our picks for the year. Going into the news, the news coming into the week, the biggest headline, of course, being Ron Rivera was fired. Uh, this coach, great coach, great coach, two time coach of the year. Um, he had a Super Bowl appearance, three time NFC South champion. They went back to back to back, uh, four playoff appearances. Most wins in franchise history for the Panthers. So, tough for him. I do believe that he will find another job coaching next year. I do believe that will happen. The Saints clinched the division with their win last week. They are now officially in the playoffs. <laughs> the first team to secure a spot. Um, they deserve it. They've, they've played well all season. So... Congrats to the Saints. Eli Manning will start this week, Monday night, versus the Eagles in Philadelphia. We'll talk about how big that is when we get into that game. Uh, but that is news. Tim Ryan, the color analyst, well, former color analyst, color analyst for the 49ers, um, has been suspended for comments about Lamar Jackson uh, pertaining to when he... When he goes and play action, uh, I believe that he says something along the lines of it's hard to to see the ball because his dark skin matches with the tone of the football. And it was just, it was all bad. It was all bad. There was no place for that to be said anywhere. Uh, Shannon Sharp made a great point about that. Peyton Manning had a play where he ran play action, a bootleg onto the outside. And nobody... Knew that he had the ball. Well, Peyton Manning is white. The jerseys were blue. The football is brown. So, there are plenty of examples of um, quarterbacks that aren't black doing great with the play action. So, that was just, it's no place for that. It's no place for that. But, coming into the week, Pat Patriots and Vikings are both still 5-0 at home. The Seahawks are 6-0 on the road. Also, want to make a correction about last week's video. The Patriots versus Bills was 16 to 10, not 16 to 17. I apologize, my mistake, my mistake. But go ahead, get into the Week 14 predictions for y'all. 
this week, man. We got a bunch of great games. Cowboys at Bears starting off tonight. Uh, both teams are 6-6. Six and six, The difference being the Cowboys have lost two in a row. The Bears have won two in a row. They're in Chicago. We'll see what happens. Um, I do think that this one is pretty simple. Whoever kicks better will win this game. <laughs> That's just what I think. But Brett Meyer, 19 out of 28 on field goals this year. Um, that's the league's worst kicker for 15 or more kicks this season. Eddie Pinero, of course, we all know Chicago's kicking struggles. 15 out of 20 field goals this year. But his misses come in the clutch. They come in big moments in the game when you're trying to answer off a turnover or in the fourth quarter when you need to hit an extra point to go up three points or stuff like that. They Both kickers miss way too much. And it's a problem. So whoever kicks better in this game is going to win. I think it's that simple. Colts at Buccaneers to start off the early game Sunday. Colts won three of the last four. And then quite frankly, I'm tired of picking the Colts. I'm just going to be honest. I'm tired of picking them and them letting me down. So I'm going to pick Buccaneers. I'm going with the Buccaneers. Show me something, Indianapolis, because y'all started off 5-2 and two and you just slawed out after that. I don't know what happened to you. I don't know if you got the big head. or I, I don't know. I'm going Buccaneers at home. Dolphins at Jets. The Dolphins are figuring out how to win. Uh, they won four straight against the Jets, so I'm going to have to pick the Dolphins on the road here. 49ers at Saints. The Saints struggled with the Falcons D-line a few weeks ago. Remember that. They did beat the Falcons last week. But that could be a really big problem for them in this game. They haven't seen the 49ers type of intensity on defense. The Falcons are pretty much the only team they play with the front that could kind of match it. They really don't match up to the 49ers, but they can kind of give you that same type of intensity. Um... But just straight up, they haven't seen it. And then you match it with that run game they got on the other side of the ball that's only second to Baltimore. I got to go 49ers on the road. I don't think 49ers are going to lose two in a row. I'm going 49ers in New Orleans. Lions at Vikings. Minnesota won four straight versus the Lions, and they're undefeated at home. Easy pick for me. I'm going to have to go Vikings at home. Broncos at Texans. Watson is on a roll. He's on a mission. Um, I don't think that the Broncos are going to be able to stop them. They're playing spoiler at this point. I don't see them winning in Houston. I got to go Texas. Redskins at Packers. Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams have scored three times together over the last two weeks. And I think they're going to keep rolling. Got to go Packers at home. Bengals at Browns. The Browns are trying to fight their way into the sixth seed. Try to get into the postseason for the first time in a long time. Um, I don't think that the Bengals are going to be able to stop that. I really, I don't see it. Uh, they slept, they swept uh, the Bengals last year. Cleveland swept the Bengals last year. Before getting all this talent and before figuring out how to use it, kind of. So I'm going to go Cleveland at home. Ravens at Bills, one of the great games of the week. The Ravens won three of the last four in this matchup. They are the hottest team in football. The Buffalo defense is third in passer rating, eighth in sacks with 37, and they are allowing 4.5 yards per carry defensively, and that is the big key in this game. The Ravens will be able to run the ball, and the Bills are not going to be able to stop them. I got to go Ravens on the road. Panthers at Falcons. <sighs> hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, all right, all right, all right. We got the coin, we got the coin, we got the coin. Heads, tails, heads, tails. Heads for Panthers. Heads for Panthers, tails. All right, let's see. Yep, heads. So we got to go Panthers. <laughs> it is what it is. That game really doesn't matter. Both teams are playing pretty bad. Got to go Panthers. Chargers at Jaguars start off the late games. I'm not even going to fool myself. I'm going Jaguars. We're tanking clearly. We're clearly tanking. I'm just, that's the assumption I've made in my head because this is not the team that I saw last year. Jaguars at home. Titans at Raiders. I'm done fooling around with the Raiders, man. Y'all y'all kind of tricked us. In the middle of the year, we thought y'all about to hit it and just roll. And then you start losing again. You started getting blown out. You didn't just start losing. You started getting blown out. The Jets. And, like, 
No, I'm not. I'm not picking the Raiders. I'm picking the Titans. I'm going Titans on the road. Chiefs at Patriots. Andy Reid is two and six versus Bill Belichick and Tom Brady all time. They're his kryptonite. It's that simple. They're his kryptonite. Zero and two versus them in the postseason. I talked about the Chiefs are not going to be able to go anywhere with Andy Reid as the head coach. It's just not going to happen. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Combine that with the Patriots being undefeated at home this year. I got to go Patriots. Um, just a fun fact, the 0-2 in the postseason, of course, the first postseason loss he had was in 2004 when he was with the Eagles. Lost to the Patriots in the Super Bowl. That really kind of began the dynasty for them. Um, then last year, of course, losing in the AFC title game in overtime. So he just... For some reason, he cannot outcoach these this this duo, Belichick and Brady. He just can't do it. Um, going Patriots at home, Steelers at Cardinals. Pittsburgh won the last three in this matchup, and they won two in a row with Duck Hodges playing. I gotta go Steelers. I gotta go Steelers. Um, I don't really like picking the Steelers, but I'm picking y'all. So y'all better win. Y'all better win. I'm going Steelers on the road. Seahawks at Rams. Seahawks are undefeated on the road, as we talked about. The second hottest team in football. They won five in a row. Um, they won three out of four, the last four in this matchup. The Rams just aren't the same. I mean, the return of Robert Woods is good. You know, it, it adds another weapon to the offense. But I just, I don't know. I don't feel the same about this Rams team as I felt last year. And that's crazy because I believe that Jalen Ramsey... Is better than Marcus Peters, but he hasn't really shown that as far as I've seen. But we'll see. We'll see. I got to go Seahawks, though. I got to go Seahawks on the road. Continue being undefeated. That's the Sunday night game. Now, the Monday night game is Giants at Eagles. And this is the return of Eli Manning. Um, he, he is getting the start over Daniel Jones, who is injured. Uh, it may be his last game of his career. So... Hats off to Eli. Um, they lost their last five versus the, the Giants. So, I mean, versus the Eagles. I'm sorry. Versus the Eagles. So, I, I would have to think that Eli doesn't want to lose <laughs> another game against the Eagles. And the Eagles are fighting for NFC East champ, NFC East title. So, this should be a good game, surprisingly, Monday night. But I got to go Giants on the road. Thank y'all for watching, man. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you're new, thank you for your view. I appreciate you. It's your boy, Jay. We out of here.